Zimbabwe's transformation under President Umnengogwa, programs for economic expansion and prosperity are in store. As he thanked Zimbabweans for handing him a second term in office in the recently concluded harmonized elections. President Umnengogwa pledged to keep implementing development projects and further solidify the economic growth momentum across the nation. According to the final election results released on Saturday night by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. The ZANU-PF candidate defeated the leader of the Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, Mr. Nelson Chamisa, who received 44% of the vote, by receiving 52.6% of the vote in the August 23rd to 24th harmonized election CEC. President Umnengogwa increased his victory advantage from the 58% poll in 2018 to 2 million 350,711 votes against his CCC rivals 1 million 967,343 votes. A total of 4 million 561,221 ballots were cast. With a 68.9% voter turnout. In the National Assembly, where there are 210 seats, ZANU-PF won 136 of them, compared to CCC 73. This indicates that the majority of the 60 senators who make up the August House, including the proportional representation determined quotas for women 60 and youth 10, will be from the Revolutionary Party. Elections in Kutu West were delayed because Mr. Christopher Mutin Hori Rudzi, one of the nominated candidates, passed away. As a result, one seat is still vacant. By losing several of its urban constituencies, ZANU-PF increased electoral support in its strongholds. It won four seats in Harare, three more than in 2018. It also won all 18 seats with a resounding majority in Mashonaland Central, where it also enjoyed a clean sweep. However, once ZANU-PF lost Bulawayo South, the opposition CCC won each of the city's 12 seats. The ruling party won 23 of the 25 seats up for election in Masvingo, and it won 16 seats in Mashonoland West to the opposition 6. In the Midlands, ZANU-PF gained 23 votes, while CCC only received 5. The CCC won 9 seats in Matabili Land North, compared to ZANU-4. PFs in Mashonoland East, the ruling party received 19 seats to the opposition's 4. While ZANU-PF gained 8 seats in Metabili Land South and 4 in Metabili Land South, respectively. In Manica Land, ZANU-PF won 21 seats compared to CCC's 5. Elections this year were conducted in an extremely tranquil setting. President Umnengogwa thanked Zimbabweans in a statement yesterday for maintaining calm and peace during the election period and promised to advance the development agenda in order to build on the progress made thus far under the Second Republic. According to the National Development Strategy NDS-1 and the overarching goal of having an upper-middle-income economy by 2030, Zimbabwe has achieved significant progress milestones under President Mnengogwa in a number of important economic sectors. The elections have already passed. I am humbled by the faith and confidence you, my fellow Zimbabweans, have placed in me to serve as President of our wonderful nation once more. There is still a lot of work to be done, he declared. We will maintain the growth trajectory seen during the last five years together as one unified people, leaving no one and no place behind. According to President Umnengogwa, Zimbabweans' calm behavior during the recently concluded election showed political and democratic maturity, embarrassing the nation's critics. As Zimbabweans, this is who we are. Throughout the course of a protracted 16-year military liberation war, we struggled for the freedom to vote. Many sons and daughters of our wonderful country made the ultimate sacrifice to secure the democracy and rights we have exercised by voting. He remarked, Rehabilitation of Saipemba Light Ride. I salute the nation, in all of its provinces, for the high level of participation in exercising this important right to vote. Zimbabweans have proven that they are a fully developed democracy. The president stated that Zimbabwe under the Second Republic was jointly developing and entrenching constitutionalism the rule of law, and good governance in accordance with the nation's constitution. We are proud to be a nation that is independent and sovereign. President Umnengogwa remarked, I want to congratulate all the national institutions involved in the elections conduct, especially the Independent Zimbabwe Electoral Commission CEC. I sincerely thank everyone who participated in these elections, especially the presidential candidates. 
There is only the one United Zimbabwean people, there are no winners or losers. We have so far embarrassed those who wanted to see us torn apart and in disarray. From the Zambezi to the Limpopo, the plum tree to Mute, and proudly singing one national anthem under one national flag, Zimbabweans, according to the president, shall forever remain a united, peace-loving, and resilient people. Expansion of Wang Units 7 and 8 He thanked religious leaders for fostering harmony and peace in the nation and appreciated the crucial role they had performed.